Now, aren't we? Lovely fish. What a booty. Absolutely. Yeah, baby. Lovely job. Look at that. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? Getting the old gear in, ready to do a bit of fishing. So, I just came into the unit to get the boat. I'm rolled it and looks like some rats have been living in it. And I'll see one run across and that was a big rat, a huge kind of thing. And it's basically chewed massive holes all in the boat, all over the place. So that's pretty much knackered this boat up. Not good. I'm hoping they ain't chewed up my other boats further down that way. Otherwise I'm gonna be in big trouble. But it's not a very good start. Let's hope this one's in better condition and hasn't been chewed. Otherwise, we are in big trouble. Well, I found a den, which is underneath my other boat. And two of them just ran straight across the unit. And I've never seen nothing like it. Massive great things. Don't know about rats, they look like dogs. So I need to get them out of here. Get them trapped or find a way of getting them out of this unit because they are clearly chewing up my boats. So I don't know if the big boat's any good yet. To get outside and try and get it pumped up. And we'll go from there. So as you can imagine, I'm not too happy. My new boat's all chewed up. Uh, they've been throwing me fishing gear. Basically been feeding on the pellets and stuff like that. Dry pellets. My adding bags. And they've got all my rod cases. And real cases and stuff like that. Just really got into everything and made dens, really. Looks like they had babies in the unit as well. So I really don't need any of that. I just can't get over the size of them. They were like, <laughs> they were like cats. They were pretty big. So the last thing I need to be you. So I'm gonna have to try and get rid of them somehow. And yeah, we haven't got a small boat again at the moment. Hoping the big one's okay. I'm now going home to get the stuff just to pump that one up and see if that's all good. Hopefully we'll still get out, but it's going to give us very limited time. Probably only going to have three, four, three, four hours out there. But that's better than nothing. No one else to expect than this. So I'll pop home and do that. Pump up the other one. If the other one pumps up, we'll be going out. If I don't, then we ain't got a boat. That's not good. Definitely made my day a bad day. <laughs> right, I'll get the bits and I'll let you know what's happening in a minute. Okay, so as you can see, we've got the boat in the back and all the gear, and we're on our way to down the broad somewhere. Can't see any obvious holes in the big boat, it's just a lot more hassle to take out because that's so much heavy, much more heavier than the other one. You can't just fold it up and carry it as. Yeah, it's really hard work. <laughs> but hopefully we'll get down there, we'll pump it up, and that will stay up, I won't go back down, or we won't see any obvious holes, and things will be good. Oh, I don't know, it's all fun today. I'm on my way back again. I forgot the inflatable bit that goes inside the boat when it's pumped up. <laughs> so I need that. Obviously, that's a platform to put everything on to go out there. But... I'm just about back, so I'll sort that out, and I'll be on my way again. <laughs> it's going to be one of those days today. Hopefully I'll get rewarded with a really decent sized fish. Well, we're on our way again. Unbelievable start to the day. <laughs> Three things have gone wrong now. One, I've turned up and there's rats living in my boat. So that's one. Two, I forgot the inflatable adapter to pump up the boat boats so that's number two and number three I forgot the inflatable inside deck to go inside the big boat so hopefully that's the three things 
done and dusted and out of the way and we're whew, now going to have a much better day from here on. I'm obviously still really disappointed that my new little boat has been chewed up. They're not cheap, it's quite an expensive one. And they weren't very old. But not much I could do. I suppose I could put a load of patches on it, but it's not really how I like to have my boats. I like to have them with no repairs on them. Unless that's like a tiny little pin brigade, you know. Just need someone out, but they're going to be like massive patches all over the place. Which is not my thing. So I'm probably going to have to replace that with something else, which I will do. But hopefully, like I say, today, this one's going to be all good and we've still got a boat to use. We're about to find out because I'm now heading down the road here. I'm going to turn right and we're going to pull up at Womack Stafe because I've lost a lot of time today. I've been messing around for hours trying to get everything sorted out so I haven't ventured too far. This is literally 20 minutes from my house. 25 minutes, something like that. So not too bad. It's obviously going to take me another, I don't know, probably 20 minutes, half an hour to get the boat set up and get everything in it and get all the lines on, get the mud weights and that ready, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, take time, but we're here now. All water's been over the edge, well, look at things, big puddles. bit windy out there but nothing to worry about we'll park right on the end make things nice and easy for ourselves got a nice big wind going across but nothing we can't deal with so let's do it okay so we're out in the boat finally just took a bit of messing around and stuff but we got there Ooh, let's go across to the other side. Not sure about this tube on this side, it's a bit squidgy. Hope it's not going down. It's not looking too good. Let's get out of the other side here and see if we can find a fish. Cormorant on branch in front of us there. All right, I'm gonna spin round and have a go in the area. Get the mud weights down, pick a lure, and start having a few casts. So, weights are down. Let's pick a lure that's gonna hopefully give us some fish. What have we got? Yeah, so I'm a bit, bit worried about this tube on this side here. It's getting a bit slack quite quick, and this side actually. That's not good. Back end seems okay. Just gotta hope we're, we're not in trouble with the rest of it. Alright, so... Probably gonna try something like this. Maybe this one. This one's done me well in the past. I think we'll put that one on to start with. A bit, bit wary of these tubes. They seem to be going down very quickly. I'm not quite sure why. It's not what we need. 
I hope they're not punctured, but it's not looking too good right this minute. Something just rolled in front of me. <laughs> Might have been a bird, I couldn't see why I weren't looking properly. All right, let's get this one out. Have a few casts and see what's happening while we're keeping them on this boat at the same time, because it's not looking too good, to be honest. It feels like it's going down very quickly. Let's see if there's any fish in the area. It'd be nice if we can pick up something fairly quick. You never know, do you? Plenty of people coming in the old car park and seeing what's about. This has only been blown up, what, 10, 15 minutes and that feel like it's gone down a lot. So it's not looking too good. Come on, fishies. Never had to worry about my boats staying up before. Normally they're really good and give me no hassle, but this ain't looking too good. Had a couple of the side handles come off. So I don't know if they've done any damage, but I can't see why they would. Let's hope we can find a few. Oh, it looks quite nice. You can see down a little bit. It's not like chocolatey brown or anything like that. You can see down a couple of foot, something like that, which is quite nice. So they should be able to see the lure quite easily. It's just a case of the boat staying up now, which I'm <laughs> getting a bit worried about, to be honest. I mean, even if the whole sides went down, the bottom platform I'm sitting on would still stay up, but it's not the point. I don't need a boat that's going down. I'm not picking up any weed or anything like that, which is cool. Just sort of trying the, the whole area. find with these lures because they're the paddle tails nice and slow does the job on these I don't find it going fast it really does anything every time I've caught it's always been sort of a nice slow retrieve all right so what I'll do is I'll have a good old cast around Keep an eye on this boat. And I'll bring it straight back in if we hook up to a fish. So I've moved over into the corner. I think I had a little take a little while ago. A couple of nibbles, but no hookups sort of thing. So I'm just trying along the edges at the moment. Keep feeling like there's things there, but sometimes they just nibble on the edge of it. I'm literally fishing right into this corner at the moment. It's not normally this far in, but with the flooding and stuff, there's a bit of extra water in there. Not quite sure of the depth in there, though. But we've got to keep trying. 
I'll spin you around and let you have a little look where we're actually in. So I'm sort of fishing into this little bay at the moment. Very surprised I didn't know how to take. I thought that would be absolutely perfect. We'll keep trying, we'll keep trying. Got the weights down, but as you like reel in from one angle, that spins the boat round. I've got them both off of the front at the moment. We could do with one on the back and one on the front, and that probably wouldn't do that, but. I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll keep moving about. Keep trying areas. But it still feels like us losing a bit of air, but it's not like, oh, I don't know, actually, it's, it is quite sloppy, actually. <laughs> I'm just going to pull the weights up and then we'll have a move. Okay, so weights are up. We'll have a little look down this end now, I think. It's a real pain that's going down. It's not like a little either, that's quite a lot. Go down to this bottom end and then have a cast around these reeds in this sort of area. That can quite often be quite good. Let's go towards these trees over here and hopefully there's something along the side of there. What I often do is sort of go up to that, into that corner over there where that old tree trunk is. And then I'll be tied to the side of that where I put the weights down and then I fish this way the way I'm sitting. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do because that'll get us out of the wind. And then we can fish down this tree line. I say that it's quite windy on this corner, to be honest. Let's see if we can get a bite along here somewhere. It'd be nice. spot I've caught before so hopefully so we're in the corner it's just a case of can we get a bite get a nice bit of distance with the lure just a case of if Mr Pike is at home Cutting through the water nicely, but no takes yet along here. Try 
trying to keep the rod low and sort of tip near the water. I don't want it to come up in the water too much. I think we've got about four foot, maybe five foot out in the middle there. It's not actually that deep in these bays. I think this lure sort of fishes quite well at about two foot. Little fish just come up behind us. So there's silver fish in the area. Come on fishies, come on. It's what lure fishing's all about. You can have 100 casts and on 101, that could be the cast that you, you get the bite on. So I've moved out slightly. So I'm having to shoot back into the safe area. I'm gonna have to have a re pump on the boat because it's getting far too low. So I'm not gonna sink or anything because I've got the bottom inside floor. It's still pumped up, but it's not the point. <laughs> it just makes it a bit easier if I pump it back up. We've clearly got a, a leak somewhere. And that's not a little one, that's quite a bad one. So we're in the old focus titanium today. Alright, so I'll quickly give us a repump and we'll get straight back out there. So we've we'll moved up down to the Wemek Island end. I'm gonna have a go in this junction here. You look across the water there, you can see the gardens and that where they were completely flooded, they're now just mud and sticky stuff. But yeah, we're gonna have a go in this junction, see if we can get a few bites. That's the plan anyway, it'd be nice. So we'll give this area a go, still got the same lure on. Managed to find a leaf. <laughs> I'm not going to change lure too much today because I know this one works. It's caught me a fair few fish in this area. It's just a case of having a good cast around now and hopefully getting a few bites before it gets dark. We've had a good cruise all the way around the island. And I'm now on the end junction. Just bringing the lure through nice and slowly. Well, hopefully, something's going to grab it soon. I haven't really been out too much lately because there's been so much flooding and the water's been so dirty. It's been like a chocolate brown colour, so the fishing weren't really worth doing. There's not really too much about. But I thought today I'd have a good go. Never know, do you? God be in it to win it. I certainly weren't expecting the disasters with the boats. <laughs> this one's caught the way back down again, so it's definitely got a problem. The back two tubes look really good, something to do around the front. Not good, could do about that. But if we can get a fish, we can deal with the boat situation another time. It's like we're going to have to get a new boat. Or we 
I could try and find a repair on this, but sometimes the repairs are really, really hard to find. And I'd prefer to have a boat that hasn't got any repairs on it. Come on, fishies. It's a bit deeper than this end. Covering loads of water. I just keep moving around and chucking the weights out in different spots and covering the whole area. You can probably see we're spinning around but we're in the same spot all the time. I don't mind spinning around because then you get to cast all the different angles. That's actually quite nice the way I do that. When you've got the mud weight on the bottom there, you get to cast all the different angles. Like now, it's put me down to the back of here. I cast it right into the junction and just reel in along the side of this. All this undergrowth is hanging on. That will now spin me around towards that as I'm reeling in against it. Will then put me around the other side behind me and I'll get the cast across there as well so I'm covering loads and loads of water. I'm using the Savage Gear SG4 today and the SG8 reel. Let's try a nice long one right down there shall we? Cover loads of water. Oh, ducks are flying through. Definitely been hard work so far. I think I might have had a couple of nibbles that didn't carry on. When you're in clear water, you can see that you get follows right up to your lure and they sort of nibble the end of it. But don't quite take it. Let's whip it over this side, shall we? Oh no! <laughs> I was lucky, I caught the edge of a twig on the way down then, but I came straight back off, which is good. So, I'll keep casting around the area. And hopefully I better bring you in with a fish fairly soon. I can't promise anything, but I'm certainly doing my best. Trying all the good spots. There's not really much else I can do. With a sinking boat, well, I'm not sinking, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying, a sloppy boat, which is halfway down again. That's a bit annoying. <laughs> We're in the edge of the island, the stuff they've done, loads and loads of work chopping trees down and all sorts of stuff. They're keeping the area tidy. Flooding did make quite a mess. It seemed to have settled down in this area again at the moment. But then we fought that a week or so ago and all of a sudden it was straight back over the top again. And completely, you know, covering the area so you never can tell. So I've been moving about, I've been back down to the stafe and tried all along the side of the boats and stuff like that. I'm now going back down towards the island again. The sun's starting to go down, which is a bit of a pain. There's not much I can do about it. Hopefully we can find a few bits. As you can see the wind's really picked up. Right up my face at the moment. But we can only do what we can do. So 
we're shifting back down towards the island area. When we get down near the island, the wind should stop a bit. Most of it is down this end. Got five degrees today, but with the wind chill, it's probably minus. So it's a lot calmer down this end. Couple of casts. A lovely area to come and have a wander. We've got a little boat to sort of cruise around in. Oh, it's not going down like this one. <laughs> this one's gone down quite a lot again, but not enough to be unsafe. cruise along here and we'll have a look. Let's see if we can find some little spots in between trees and stuff like that and just places where you think pike could be hanging out. Getting quite chilly now that sun's going down. I've got a headlamp with me but I ain't got much in the way of lights on the boat so I won't be staying out after dark. I'll fish till dusk till I can't sort of see. I've only got a whip down the river there and I'll be right back at the car. It takes about 10 minutes from here. So a little cruise. So I'm gonna I'm gonna plonk the the weight down and we'll have a go in this area. Right, I'll take you for a nice little cruise around the island before we start heading back the other way. Not actually seeing any silverfish or anything jumping this evening or anything. That's what I'm looking for right now. Normally just before dusk you start seeing quite a few surface around the broads in certain areas. If you can find them quite often you can find a pike. So fingers crossed. And we start seeing a few fish moving around. I'm just cruising nicely at the moment on gear number two. So just try not to disturb anything. We might be lucky enough to see some deers and foxes and stuff like that. There's plenty of bird life at the moment. I've seen herons, cormorants, ducks, geese, swans. There's plenty about. You can probably hear them ducks now quacking away. But we're definitely starting to run out of time. It's getting darker by the minute. It probably don't look like it on the camera, but in real life out here, it's 
starting to get fairly dull. Like I say, though, we've only got a whipped end of the car down there, so only a 10 minute whip along in the boat. I haven't seen a single other boat up here today moving. There's some down at the Stafe, but not much to be honest. There's no one moored on the island because that's out of bounds at the moment while they're doing work. Alright, let's turn around this corner and head round actually through the island. Haven't even seen another fisherman or anything, it's been really, really quiet. Boat's still got a little bit of air on it, but the tubes are a good halfway down. <laughs> but we're still floating. The back two tubes are not so bad, that's the, the front three quarter section. That's going down for some reason. Really quiet and peaceful out here today. Well, it's most of the time out in the boat to be honest, unless that's the middle of the summer, and then it can be quite busy with other boats. But you can still find little spots where you can go and sort of hide in and put a rod out the back. Can't see much happen, there's not nothing topping or anything yet. Oh, hang on, I might have just seen a couple just around the corner there. Another couple of casts while we're just sort of going around this corner. Never know, we might just get a, a little take here. Once I get round to the sort of stafey area down the bottom here, I'll chuck away out and we'll have a, a proper cast around. Quite quiet and peaceful it is isn't it? It's really, really, really still. Got the sun going down to the left of us. We've got like a red sky behind us. But I'm hoping when we have a few more casts and hopefully we'll be able to have a few more casts when we get down near the car as well, back in that area again. It'd be nice if we can just hook up to one. I'd be quite happy with anything at the moment. This is the more an hour you can actually park up for 24 hours if you want to normally. But at the moment they're doing work and you know, cutting trees down and tidying up from the storms and stuff. But normally you can stay on here. We'll come and stay here one night. And we'll fish for the whole night off here. 
at some point. I'll wait for it to warm up a little bit and get a bit more, uh, a few more fish in the area. It's quite a quiet area for like rudd, roach, perch, bream, that sort of stuff. Don't know why, they just don't seem to come down this end and sort of stay there really. It's really hard to get food, even in the middle of summer. Heading towards a duck. You can probably see him coming towards us. I think that's what it is anyway. It's gone under. Maybe it was a cormorant. Yep, it's a small cormorant by looks like. Yeah, a juvenile one. Still nothing happened too much, it's still not on the surface normally, this is the perfect time, just as it starts to get dark. This is normally the time to start seeing a few fish surface, normally small rudd and stuff like that. You can probably see the bubbles up in front of us of where just come along the bottom, that bird where I was feeding. Ooh. I'm just moving a bit here because we're getting a bit sloppy on where the, where the boat's going down. <laughs> it's actually gone down quite a lot now, I can near enough collapse it. But we've got the floor and stuff in, the floor's still nice and blown up and solid. We'll just take you around the rest of this corner and that bit of the island and then they'll shut you off again and I'll whiz back down to the other end, to the Wormack Stape end and I'll chuck a weight out and we'll have a few more casts there. I can't see much happening down here, I'd say there's no fry surfacing. It's getting fairly chilly, the old hands are getting a little bit cold now. Feet and stuff are good, I've got the old thermal socks on and ski tech boots. So they're keeping me quite warm. There's a nice little corner here that sometimes can produce a fish, but I've had a good go here today and it doesn't seem to have done much. Shame really because this is normally a good area to catch food in the winter but it seems to be getting worse. Well, I just lost my favourite lure which is really annoying and um, tried to get it back. I was pulling up a big old branch before I actually thought I had a take and what I'd done went into a branch, I was pulling the branch up, went to reach over to pull it up and take the lure off and the branch snapped and went down. But I can't seem to find it, so I'm going to carry on just a little bit into the dark, as I can still see at the moment, switching over to this one. So hopefully this will do something for us. If I get a take, I'll let you know straight away. So, back in the car. No fish today, I'm afraid. Not for lack of trying, I tried really hard, I tried everywhere. Been out there in the pitch black as well because I ended up just across the bay there and not in no one's way. There's no boats hopping down there. And I had a big old headlamp on that one anyway and we lights some my camera. So it was quite well lit up to be honest. But still no fish. Boat was like three quarters down on the whole front three, 
two so by the time I got back in, so got a problem there as well. I'm guessing the mice have had a chew at that or something's happened. That was alright last time I took it out, as you probably know. So pretty rough day all round really. <laughs> Could do about many more of them. Oh, I still can't believe the other boat's all chewed up, but I suppose it's even worse with this one going down as well. But there we go, we all get days like this. So I thought I'd better put it out anyway. It would be quite easy to not do this video really, wouldn't it? But I thought I'd put it out, cheer people, you know, we all get crappy days like that. <laughs> I think we did have a couple of takes on the lures, like, I don't know, you can normally tell when they're nipping the back of it or something, so I think they did have a couple of takes, but no fish landed, so not too good. And I put in about four and a half hours, something like that. So, not a crazy full day's worth, but also not an hour's worth, if you know what I mean. But I had a good go, done my best, that's all I can do. Right, I'm going to go and unpack all this lot, and that's time for a nice hot chocolate. And some dinner to get warmer up and stuff like that. I'm going to put the heated seats on, which will be lovely in a couple of minutes. Wait for the car to warm up a little bit, whack the heaters on, and start driving back to drop a slot off and then home. So, thanks for watching. Appreciate your time, and I'll see you in the next one very soon, hopefully. Let's <laughs> see if we can find out what's the matter with this boat. Hopefully it's just a tiny little pinprick or something like that somewhere, but other than that, so that was three quarters down by the time I'd finished, so we'll have to see. We'll have a go, we'll have a look round it, and if not, we'll have to get a new one. Right, thanks for your time. I'll see you again soon.